Hi dear students, let us understand what is sensory mechanism today which is very very important for children with intellectual disability and it is very you know important process where um, where all the senses work together to you know achieve one single output so let us understand let us understand first what is sensory see it refers the way that nervous system receive the message from the sense and turn them into responses for example if i touch a hot object that means via via my touch it is going to my nervous system a brain and it is giving me a response that i have to remove the hand from there okay i think you got it then next one is your mechanism that is a part of the system working together in machine which is called mechanism here the machine is uh, like a processing so all sense will work together let us see this picture now you can see here you have a different you have a different sense like you know smell and hearing then you have a memory you have coordination vision you know you have sensation vocabulary skill so these are all your senses which will work together which will work together to call to form your sensory mechanism and this is this brain is your system where it will process where all the information process and then you will get some output the output can be uh, you know in the form of education the uh, education means any output the responses of the child that is your uh, what you say sensory mechanism which you need to understand now why it is related to early childhood because at the early stage is very, very important so therefore current practice and the theory in the early childhood education would not be completed without recognizing the foundation which is built by the outstanding professional in the past history which we are going to discuss we are not going to discuss about all these you know guys we are just going to focus only first one that is maria montessori because uh, that's quite in use all over the world as well as we have to take the other uh, recommendations from other professionals like john deeds and jean piaget lee Gitsky. so these are all professional which gives their specific theories which tells their specific theories you know how the child can be boost or how the child how how you can make the child to learn anyways i think you have your uh, learn in your education psychology or assessment and learning you have these concepts so you can go in detail so here we will try to relate maria montessori in early childhood we will try to discuss what she has done in early let us see uh, maria montessori framework of learning so Maria Montessori believed that every human being went through a quantum leap in learning during the preschool. We haven't become an adult without taking a preschool. Okay. So Maria Montessori have developed a sensitive period, uh, which is very important, and it is easy to teach the children a certain concept that later on we uh, will be a somewhat more difficult for an older children or older child to learn. So it's very important when the children are small. We can modulate the child. We can mold the child in whatever in in whatever way we want. So Maria Montessori has developed seven major sensitive periods of children from birth zero to six years. Let us see what are those. First one is your sensitive period for old for order, and that is from age eighteen month to two years. See, this appears in the first year and continues through uh, second year of the life of the child so during this time what happened the child is striving the you know sort out and categorizing all his experience he's uh, you know uh, it makes it easier for them if there is some kind of order in their life so that well, everything happened in the uh, in the sensitive period of order that means the child uh, tried to uh, sort the things in order so they like to be cared uh, for in the same way by primary caregiver in the family environment. Uh, this need is particularly evident in the child.
from about the age of 18 months when they cross the 18 months you will see you know this is my object this is my thing this is what i will be doing in you know, order first i will do this so this happened in the sensitive period of order okay and then your sensitive period for language birth to six years so here what happened the baby hear his mother voice and watches her lips and tongue you know what my mother is saying so mother is saying so by the age of six uh, with the almost no direct teaching the child will have acquired a large vocabulary basic sentence patterns and the in you know in inflections and the accents of language so that's why we say the home is the first school where the child learn a lot of things and also he will continue to acquire more complex sentences structures uh, it, it's all like how the parents explore their child in the language area okay so whether it is reading listening singing writing so it's up to the uh, family member how they explore their child in the language area then you have your third sensitive period for movement so uh, birth to fourth year is very important for the child so when you know when the child is young they will learn, learn to walk around 12 to 15 months he has a need uh, to perfect the skill and will walk and walk as told in maria montessori book the secret of childhood you can see it's an internet you, you have to buy this you can just uh, you know read whole book you will will have uh, some sort of um, information in that so what she wants to say here the motor skill is very very important and uh, movement uh, can be happen only when the child you know acquire those skills and she tells that at the age of 12 the child develops walking and then they will develop exploring the things around his or her surrounding the next one is your sensitive period for senses at the age of about two and a half year to three years the child become aware that he is a part of group you know yes he being to show an intense interest in the other children as well i, I like to play with this child i like to play with this you know girl i like to play with this group so there are a lot of things will develop at the age of uh, you know five years so there is a sense of cohesion which maria montessori believed you know uh, come about spontaneously and uh, she tries to tell a lot of things that which develops uh, via sense you know that even the child developed the social behavior during this period okay so that's very very important period of you know maria montessori and then you have a sensitivity period of weaning that means when when the child reach its first year and becomes more mobile and has a larger environment in which to explore he is drawn to small objects such as insect pebble stone grass so he will pick something up and look at it closely and prefer and perhaps put it in his mouth you would have seen it number of time or even you would have done you know so that is quite normal so this sensitive periods allow the children to follow the practical life material so that's why it is very very important where the child tried to you know experiment yes this period is of experiment so uh, where the child tries to take you know uh, his own uh, creativities um, see that's why this sensitivity period of weaning is very very you know it's a weaning okay it's very very important because um, he, um, what do you say the boy or the girl will try to eat something or uh, you know uh, i mean to say something rather than food okay food other than um, or you can say other than the food he will take it in his mouth it's very simple just to remember that okay then you have a sensitivity period of numbers yes 
uh, the child will develop the number skills okay so he receive an impression from the world through his five senses as you know first the sense sight of hearing are active then gradually the movement developed then the sense of touch and smell then followed by the taste so there is a procedure where all the senses will you know open one by one and then finally you know he will try to uh, manipulate in the environment so that is a period of numbers okay where maria montessori refer the instruments of man's intelligence okay so every five organs will develop one by one every five sense organs numbers will develop one by one and then last one is your sensitive period of manner and courtesies so for the uh, for children at the age of two to six years there are grace and courtesy lesson in montessori classroom okay if you see Montessori classroom if you have anybody seen you know where you have a lot of material attractive material where they will teach the respect as well so for children at the age of 0 to 3 years you know the grace and courtesy is molded modeled uh, by adult so modeling is very important about the courtesy okay because uh, it helps it helps the child developing you know the um, attitude the behavior towards other so that's why um, the adult need to model uh, in a such a way so that they can learn so children learn when teacher model so that's why it is very very important okay so we need to teach a good attitude as well to the children so these are all you know a sensory mechanism uh, we haven't discussed in detail because it's very huge we just need to know what is sensory mechanism and what are the different steps involved in it okay so we have discussed one Maria Montessori the others we can have just a basic knowledge which you have already learned but this uh, Maria Montessori method is used all over the world so for now that's it